What's up guys, this is Darian with Aurelius Visuals. Today I want to bring you guys a cool grime art effect done entirely in Adobe After Effects. Normally this is something that's done in Photoshop, but if you have problems like I did importing your footage into Photoshop, then this is an alternative where you can use dynamic links with Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects to achieve the same exact look. I'm just going to show you guys how I learned an alternative to doing it in Photoshop using After Effects and uh, hopefully it helps you guys out. So let's go ahead and jump to the editor and get started. All right, so here we go. We are in Premiere Pro. I already have my clip imported into Premiere. So what we're gonna do is work with dynamic links. So if, you, if you're not familiar with dynamic links already, what you're gonna do is go to your clip and you're gonna right click and you're gonna scroll down to replace with After Effects composition. And what that's gonna do is open up After Effects and it's gonna allow us to work in after effects but it's going to update in real time into our premiere pro timeline so we don't have to save and re-import things so it makes our life a lot easier anything we do to the clip in after effects is going to automatically roll over to premiere pro so i'm going to let that go ahead and open up so uh while we wait just quick tip like i said i mentioned in the preview what you guys are going to want to do is make sure that you are shooting this in 24 frames to make your life easier. Um, I said it once, I'm gonna say it again. Um, this is not for clips that are shot in high frame rates. The lower the frame rate, the better. Obviously nothing below 24, but um, 24 is probably best because you're still gonna have to draw this like 24 times to get one second of uh, the grime art in your clip. So I'm just gonna name this whatever grime art tutorial cool that'll work all right so clip is imported now so this is shot in 60 frames a second i'm going to stress that again so you guys won't be having to do as much work as i did but unfortunately uh i didn't know this when i was doing it so i ended up kind of taking the long route so uh what you're going to want to do is click on the paintbrush tool up here and it's going to open up your paint panel so what I did uh, to begin initially was I started off with black. So I just came over and grabbed the, the black color and I'm gonna raise my brush size up to about nine. Again, these are all preferences. You guys can do you know whatever you feel is best. Um, so I'm gonna double click on my clip to be able to actually paint on my layer now. And what I started off doing was I just I just go around the outside of the face or the area where I want the grind mark to be and I kind of just go over it with black so his neck area I'm gonna go all the way down to like the lining of his jacket you can go back and get that right there and um, the reason why I do this is because you guys will see it kind of gives like a nice outline for us to color inside of so that we kind of know what we do and don't um like where we do and don't want to cross so we don't want the paint to be spilling off the face into like the hair and stuff um so it to me it just it just works best if we do it that way so from there um i'm also gonna i'm also gonna outline his beard right here all right So I'm gonna like outline his beard like that. So then next I wanna outline his eyes. So I uh, just wanna go ahead and, and these don't have to be perfect exactly, but you know, I want it to be decent, realistic. I want them to look similar a little bit, you know. Uh, so I wanna outline his eyes, you know, uh, I might come down and adjust my brush size to go a little bit smaller and then, um, you know, do his nose. So basically I, I wanna just like kinda outline his facial features a little bit because when I start painting, I wanna know, you know, where the eyes should be, where the nose should be, where the mouth should be obviously. So let's go ahead and do his lips. So we're gonna trace around the outside of his lips and uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of going through this kind of quickly. If I was doing this for the video, obviously I would be taking my time a little bit more. But you know, um, just want to get you guys through this really quick. So then I want to come. So once I have the facial features kind of outlined and everything, 
Uh, I might even want to leave a little opening right here uh, just so his lips aren't like solid red or whatever color I make them. I don't want it to be like one solid color. So I'll put a little, a little circle on the inside right there just so we can add some depth to his lips with colors. So once I'm done with that, I want to come back over to uh, my, my color panel and uh, let's just choose a color, man. So uh, I'll choose like, you know, this, this, uh, this like cyan color and I'm gonna make my brush nine again. And now I just wanna, I wanna color, uh, uh, let's go bigger, let's go 13. Uh, let's go 19 actually. So now I just wanna color um, all inside of the black that I made for his face. All right, so make a couple adjustments, you know, to areas where we see kind of got messed up a little bit. All right, so let's go back to paint. Um, we can hit this little arrow right here to swap to the color that's in the background. So I'm gonna switch to white, so I'll do that right there. And now I wanna color his eyes in completely white. All right, again, doesn't have to be perfect. You know, like I said, the black the black part is kind of uh, just a uh, a marker for us to stay in the general area where we want the eyes, but it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, and again, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of breeze through this, you guys. Do a little quick, you know, rough sketch. Um, so now, uh, let's say I want to go with a red color for his lips. Let's drop my brush size back down to nine, and uh, I'll just just color his lips like a reddish color. And then let's say for the inside of his lips, I want to go with, let's just say a, a little darker red for the inside of his lips. And then uh, let's get something like that. Okay, so uh, just to make this look a little bit better, what we can do is I want to go back to, uh, actually we can click right here, which will give us black and white on these two little uh, black and white cubes right there. Give us black again. Um, I'll, uh, I think nine is okay. I'll keep my brush at nine. And then I'm just going to go back around his eyeballs with black. drop my brush eyes down to about nine and uh, I'll I'll draw his nose back in because we kind of lost it when we were painting so I'll just draw his nose back on and this doesn't have to be perfect man like I can't stress that enough because it's gonna take you a long time well it's gonna all right that happens sometimes it might not happen for you guys hopefully it doesn't happen to you guys um, Just hit uh, Command Z or whatever undo is. I don't know why that happens sometimes. But uh, this is gonna take you a while to pull off anyway, man. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry too much about whatever, um, whatever issues you're having. If you're like, if the coloring isn't perfect or whatever, I wouldn't really worry too much about it, man, because 
This is going to take you a little while anyway to, to do it right. Then I'm just going to take black again and I'm just going to go back around the outside of his mouth just to give it, you know, a nice, nice little definition. Uh, and then I'm going to go around the inside right here. All right, cool. So now we see like the effect starting to take place. So um, another thing is that we want his beard, you know, to be be colored. So I'm going to go with a, a darker color, um, a darker version of the blue. Again, it doesn't really matter what color you choose. Um, you know, we're just coloring the beard right there. Like that. So the last finishing touches we're going to put on this is uh, we're going to go back and we're going to go back to black, choose a brush size of five and pretty much man I'm just going to add some little strokes right here in his beard to just kind of show that this is you know supposed to be hair. You know again man this is all stylistic choices, no, no rhyme or rhythm to it. Um, you know every artist is different you guys you know yours might look a little bit different and then the last thing I want to do is kind of just add some some uh, like some cringy looking like you know drops on his face like his face is kind of like melting a little bit give it that like zombie look you know um, you know in my in my video I actually drew like this kind of style of thing on his face and then um, you can either leave it like that or you can color it in so like if I make another one right here let's just go over it right there add some more of these you know, add some more of that right there add some more of that right there um, so if I go here, if I grab the eyedropper tool and then I click on a color that I want, I can grab that exact same color. And um, so what I did in my video is, you know, these little patterns on his face, I actually colored them in with the same color as his chin hair or his beard. I used the same color and, uh, you know, kind of just color it in man some stylistic stylistic you know edit you guys are free to do whatever you want you can come up with your own your own facial style um, and that I mean for the most part man you can see that the grime the grime look is starting to take effect so pretty much I know that was kind of a tedious process like I said this is not a short effect by any means what you would do to complete this is you would go to the next frame in your timeline like that you go to the very next frame and you would do it all over again man so you would you know highlight his face with black on the outsides outline it um, you know choose your colors I recommend writing down uh, these color codes so when you come into the paint the paintbrush so you see this is the color this is the color of his beard and uh, the part beneath his eyes so you can write these color codes down so that you can just copy and paste or type them in each time or you know use the eyedropper tool each time go back you know click and that way you can get the exact same colors and then you're going to do this frame by frame man for however long you want this effect to last throughout your video and that's pretty much it guys um it is a very tedious process this is definitely not an effect that you want to do if you're not a patient editor if you like to do just the quick effects, um, things that are like presets, you can drag and drop. This is definitely not something that you probably want to try or incorporate into your video. But nonetheless, if you put the time into it and you put the time into doing it right, it is a very cool, unique effect that I'm pretty sure that the artists you guys work for are going to appreciate. Um, so, you know, it, it all just depends on how far you're willing to go. Um, but again, it's Darian. If this guys, if this helps you guys out, you know, please like, share, subscribe. It definitely helps me grow the channel. I'm trying to bring you guys more 
value. I'm trying to help you guys become better editors, just like I, I watch people that I look up to who have helped me become the editor that I am. If you guys have any suggestions for new videos, please go ahead and leave a comment or message me. Let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.